Hey folks, this is Vagrant. Welcome back to the Thaumaturge. Apologies, no video. Yesterday, I'd had about five hours sleep in about three days, so I was uh, on the edge and I had to... I'm doing a sponsored video on the Best in Slot channel and yesterday was the deadline. I didn't start it until yesterday, so that was... Um, all a little bit last minute, really. Uh, right, anyways, in the last video, we actually found what I believe is the final Salutor in the game. That was Krampus, and we've started to track Krampus down in this warehouse. And we're going to hopefully find the person who Krampus is following in this building. Let's go. Are you still alive? Oh, something, hmm. Have you seen the perpetrator's faces? Do you know who they are? Does it have anything to do with a certain well-known Warsaw thug, Abauritsi? Do you think this has something to do with the socialists? Was it someone local? Okay. How long have you been here? A day? Two? A week? More? Are you a harbor worker or a sailor? Anything to do with the stolen arms. Do you know anything about the stolen arms shipment? Do you happen to be one of the gendarmes who escorted the convoy? You're lucky I've sent it to Wild Sally to here. I'll find a way to get you out. Okay. The missing gendarme has been captured by the people from the warehouse, who uh, I think got themselves into a little bit more bother than they uh, anticipated. Where are we going? I'm missing something. I'm not sure what it is. I'm just run around and click, click, click. I need my Krampus. Oh, hello. Do we really have to? You know. They were going to kill the guys, I think. Kill the man. Can't just leave him tied up forever. Hey guys, I'm going to beat you all up now. I was promised a fireworks display. How long do I have to wait for the Golden Tiger? But it was just a cover. There is no... Shut your pie, Emil. I'll tell you something. Maybe we can recruit him. Maybe he'll join us? Yeah, or... And maybe we can bribe him. Yemyo, how many times do I have to tell you that you're not the boss yet? Stop calling me Edic. This isn't what you promised, Edic. No complications. And we'll live like kings, you said. I know what I said. Jemiel is an object of ridicule in Edic's gang, most likely because the poor guy is not the sharpest tool in the shed. I mean, look, not all tools are meant to be sharp. Maybe he's a hammer. You don't want a sharp hammer. I guess you want the back of the hammer to be... You don't want it to be sharp, the back of the hammer, though. The claw. Like, pointed. You don't want it to be sharp. Anyways. There's no denying that you're to blame more than anyone. It was you who started it. Neither you nor Yemio is the mastermind here. No offense. All you need to do is report it to the police, and you can go home back to your wife. Actually, you're right. Can't you see what he's trying to do? He wants to drive a wedge between us. No, this isn't over. You saw what happened there. The coppers came with armored wagons. We can't run. We won't run. We'll take them by surprise. We'll give weapons to people, and we'll have some real fireworks for the police. First, we chase the Ruskies away from our neighborhood, then the town, and then... Who knows? Yemyo, you've got a gun, so watch this one. Let's go. Why me? I want to go too. you are got to be a little savvy for this. Stay put, I said. Fine, I'll tell you something. But no tricks, alright? No promises. 
Eric's floor, whenever he feels concerned, cornered, Eric tries to get away by manipulating people. To do that, he takes advantage of their emotions and makes unrealistic promises. Kind of like I was going to say, that's basically exactly what I do. Krampus and the Rogue. Eric is a demagogue who uses his abilities for his own benefit and to get out of any predicament. In order to make his floor shine fully, I need to get him into even more trouble. Eric doesn't like you, does he? He certainly doesn't respect you. And the other way around. All he can do is put you down. And if I say anything, he always turns it on its head. So he comes out on top. Does he often promise you things? All the time. And the others are eager to follow. It's like he infects them with his ideas. And now he told me to sit here with you. We could take him down, Jamiol. Really angry. Eric, he wants to find a way to get back at him. I think I can give him an idea. Jamiol is not the sharpest tool in the shed, and Eric often makes fun of him to get on the good side of other friends. The mockery pains Jamiol and makes him want to get back at Eric. I gave him an idea of how to do that by releasing me. Plant an idea of revenge in his mind. Don't you want to get back at him for everything? He'd start to respect you. Yeah, honestly, sometimes I feel like pasting him. Yeah. Maybe there's a better way. Like what? Master of Dintojra. I told Jemiel the revenge would be sweeter if he released the gendarme too. You haven't done any of these things. He keeps saying I've done these things before I do these things. Eric and his people are holding the missing gendarme. They're planning to get rid of him as the only witness who might expose them. If I don't do anything, they'll kill him. Help him come up with a brilliant idea on his own. That sounds like a good idea. He told you to stay put here like a dog and watch me. What do you think would upset him the most now? Let's think. If I didn't pay no mind to his command and let you go, he'd be mad, all right. Furious, even. You're a genius. It's what we want, isn't it? Uh, what would happen if the gendarme from the closet disappeared, too? I'll tell you something. I think Eric would burst into tears. Then let's do it your way, Yemio. <laughs> Thank you and good job. I owe you, Thaumaturge. Lihotsky. Lihotsky. Forget it. Shulsky. I oh. like the way you outmaneuvered them. I'm surprised the army doesn't have more of you. I heard what those guys were planning. I must act. I thought he was saying, like, thank you in Polish or something. It's his name. What do you intend to do? You heard what they said about the armored police wagons. The forces must have cut off ways out of the harbor. I know how many arms there were in the shipment. If Edek gives that away out there, there'll be a bloodbath. I need to call for reinforcements. Ah, as a res interesting. As a result of your decisions, this path is closed. He has to leave it to me. Now, that's not a pride thing. That's not saying I'm too prideful. That's saying I've made a choice at some point. I wonder what it was. Haven't you got enough? You've just got out of captivity. And from what you were saying, it might get nasty here. But duty? You've done enough here. Leave it to me. You owe me that. In the midst of all this, there's a demon that I'm chasing. I'm certain it impacts our demagogue, Edic. Suit yourself, Thaumaturge. Good luck. Thanks, buddy. Lishoki. Lishoski. Okay. Find Edic. Oh. This way. Entry added. Edic. Hi, Edic. Eric is a dock worker, far from an ordinary one. He has ideas he to share them with others, hoping in his naive stupidity for some benefit. The fact is, Eric is incapable of thinking about the consequences. He says whatever comes to mind. He just says whatever comes to mind, because Eric has a flaw, and Krampus delights in it. A lot of people warned me about this game. About, like, racism and stuff like that. <laughs> you know, that it was going to deal with some big ideas and some harsh things. And it definitely, there's part of it, but I don't feel like it's been overtly the case either. Definitely not as much as um, I expected from how people were describing it. I don't know how long are the games left, of course. I think this is Act 2, so I'm assuming there's an Act 3. So, you never know how much it'll change. Where the heck are you, Eric? 
Oh, it's over here. Inciting revolution. I'll have to beat him up. That'll fix it. It <laughs> fixes everything. You have nowhere to run. Lay down your arms and we might let you off lightly. Get the hell out, you czar's lackeys. Today, the harbor. Tomorrow, all of Warsaw. Sergeant, it's that magician. You're still here? You always show up before a riot. Yeah, you're the idiot. He had one job. Don't get in our way. It's easy to captivate the crowd when you can promise them anything. The hard part is to deliver on those empty promises, isn't it? Empty? Look around you and see how many people stand behind me. And this is just the beginning. Eric captured the arms, and now we have a chance to drive the Ruskies off the harbor. And we'll prevail! I just, I, I, I want... Right, we're gonna stir him up because I want to get the the salutor. But I mean, <laughs> look, they're they're, they're they're being occupied, and they've stolen an arms shipment, and they're fighting back. I have, I don't think implicitly I have any problem at all with what Eric is doing. I guess if there is an issue, it might sound weird, but if you're gonna revolutionize, you have to do it in the right way. And I feel like his ideas of capturing the entire city and Poland and all this kind of jazz, you know, with his little ragtag group, when they're probably just going to get crushed, is is it's, it's kind of the issue, I think. Um, there's a right way to do it, and his is probably not the right way. But I don't want to shut down the idea. And after you snatch away the harbor from the Tsar's power, what next? People! We're about to fight the first great battle that will change the course of this land's history! It will be the cue for a nationwide effort, and will inspire all the partitions to fight! But the harbor will be ours. Right, Eric? First, we take the harbor, then Warsaw, and then we'll force the Tsar himself to negotiate! Sergeant, this is getting out of control. Let's get them, boys! Oh, no. People! What the foreign power has seized from us, we shall now recapture. Retreat! Retreat! Nazad! Nazad! For fuck's sake! Get lost, Russian bastards! It's our land now! Well, I promised, and I delivered. And if you're not with us, you're against us! That's enough. Krampus. The old spirit of Christmas who visits naughty children. Eric was a perfect tidbit for you. Time for you to choke on it. All right, damn. All right, here we go. Hey, Krampus. Uh, okay, Mew Mavukovac, that's good. If that's a heal, we'll break with Upia. That's a heal we will never break. Upia, well, I'm going to start throwing out things onto you. Upia's going to hit you with... And by then, intoxication, because it will heal me by then. Yeah, I'm just... It's funny, I'm being very selfish in a way. I'm kind of, like, <laughs> pushing this revolution. Just, um... Oh, what is that? Because I want things, you know? <laughs> What was that? Uh, makes you lose focus instead of taking damage with a 4 to 1 ratio. Interesting. Well, I thought I was going to have to heal by then because I'm a silly billy. Okay. Do I want to 
I mean, he's nearly dead already, so I'm not going to worry too much about that. Although he's now only going to lose focus. I mean, I guess I just let them lose focus, right? I, I don't worry too much about it beyond that. We just, we kill them with focus instead. But we use damage to kill them with focus, basically. Go on, Buka. Ow. Okay, well, I mean, he just died. I was curious what it would do at the higher ratio, though, how that would make a, an impact. It says 4 to 1. Does it change it to 8 to 1, maybe? As in, every 8 damage means you lose 1 focus. That could be it. Stop that. Okay. Well, you on the left, you're going to die. We need to start racking up on you. And he might not die, actually, because um, he's probably about to get the boost from Krampus. Yep, there it is. <laughs> oh, no, he died anyway. I don't know why he died anyway, if I'm totally honest. I don't quite understand, but that's okay. Just finish this guy off. Oh. Really thought that was going to kill him. Oh, of course. Wait, no. What? Why are they taking damage? I'm confused. No, I don't understand that at all. <laughs> I, can't, I can't quite figure that out. Can't break that. Velis for that. And for that. And that's uh, Lelic. Okay, there's a lot of enemies here. Makes me a little bit spooked. I'm gonna start, I'm gonna attack you. And we're gonna get Velis up in here. Don't. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna heal. Because I'm gonna take another. I'm gonna take a little kick in before then. Or whatever the heck that is. No, it's just him moving forward. I really gotta pay more attention. <laughs> right, so Lelic's gonna break that guy. So I guess I can throw on Agony on this guy here. <laughs> you spooky son of a gun. I'm nearly back up to full health, so we're in a good place. We're about to take a lot of damage though. It is what it is. Oh, interesting. I lost my boost quick attack. Huh. Okay. Uh, Velus, while you're here, my friend. Now, I am about to take some damage, so again, we're going to slippery bet. Of course, I heal a little bit less this time, but it's a heal, and it's going to break the trait, so that's what it is. I'm going to shot twice and punched. It's important to not overheal, or heal too often, for this very purpose. Ooh, that was new. Okay, so Velis is about to break that one, so I'll throw this over here, actually. And then I'm going to stop healing for a little bit. No, I didn't get the trickle. But this should put me on nearly full. Oh, not at all. Yeah, I need to, I need to stop. The problem is I need heals, <laughs> so I don't know. It's tough. I actually need health right now. Um, right, you on the far left, you're gonna die. Oh, you're not Velus. That's lame, oh, an idiot. Oh, man. Man, 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 man. Marana. I think I like Marana more. That's gonna interrupt that. That's really useful. That'll break that. Um... You've got three on you. I think a punch will get this guy killed. Right? Yeah. And it, it might interrupt their reaction as well. Which would be great. Bam! Oh, it did. Sweet. We're going to interrupt two actions there. And you're dead on the left. Receive damage. Okay, so I'm going to punch. Oh, you can't take things. Naughty. Oh, actually, if we punch you. Yeah. That's a play. That's the play. Interrupt that action. Murano is busted strong. Can I heal yet? Yes, I can heal again. Finally. Right. Okay. 
In the middle, you're gonna die. You're gonna die. So I need to start breaking you on the left, which means we need a Bukovac or Lelok. No, we need. I'm on the wrong one. That's fine. Oh no, I can't break it. Right. So that means we should focus on. Oh, I need to heal. Is the problem? Okay, quick fire. Yeah, sure. Why not? Bam! <laughs> Punch this woman in the face. <laughs> okay, you're dead. And I think we need to finish you off. That should be a kill on you on the right. If I just punch you in the face as well. Ruan is going to interrupt her. That's both attacks blocked. Lovely stuff. This was, this was a well-managed fight right here, I'm going to say. Moran is insane. I can just keep pestle and breathing, and this enemy will never attack me. Like, if you're in a one on one fight, Marana just guarantees you the victory, basically. That was good. I maybe healed a little bit too much, but beyond that, that was great. Wait. Until Rasputin sees you. Demagoguery. Hello, Krampus. You two have a lot in common. Eric, Eric, I'll tell you something. There's another one. You let that smart guy go, loony. Why the insults? <laughs> Both of you, shut up. Oh. First of all, you're a fucking prick. <laughs> all you ever do is push me around. Second of all, you promised God knows what, and what have you done? Look. Can't you see? Now that the harbor is ours, we will be... Um... Hung, once the Ruskies regroup, there won't be a stone left standing. And it was you who got us into this. When I smack you, you'll see the fireworks all over again. Him and the magician, it's their fault. Get him! Well, I do. Why are you guys trying to get beaten up? I'm weak. Leave me alone. I can't break that. Wait, 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 wait. I have... Oh, you know what that is? I think it's because... I think Krampus is a word one. And word is disabled at the moment. So I can't break either of these on the right. Yeah. Leluk. I mean, Marana. The problem with Marana is she makes Leluk... Yeah, it is. Yeah. She makes Leluk feel <laughs> more pointless. Um... All right, well, let's start racking up wounds. Just gonna out damage them, basically, is the idea. Oh, that was creepy. Jemiel, we were on the same side, man. What happened to us? We were so close. Doesn't Leluk have a interrupts an enemy's action? Yeah, so what's the difference between that and that? Pestilent Breath is just a better version of Mournful Tones. There's no... They're the same speed, but Mournful Tones relies on... I mean, I guess Mournful Tones, not that one. Um... Uh, Somber Trill. Somber Trill is just a worse version. Entirely. Uh, we want to attack this guy with that, actually. Just going to keep interrupting. Choose some focus along the way. Maybe someone will get... What just happened to me? I just got something I've never seen before. Ow. Stun. I'm stunned. And dimensions. Oh, of course, dimensions. Okay, well, I know that one. Right, so a guy in the middle is actually. He's not going to die, but he's going to very nearly die. I should interrupt someone. Um, I've been stunned. I 
I think I need to focus on breaking focus with some of these people. Because, uh, well, first of all, I'm going to die. Because <laughs> that's how we're going to get rid of the traits. Am I stunned again? What the heck? It's more like it. These guys are both on full health. It's going to heal me for four grand total of eight for some reason. Oh, it must have applied it to both of them. Yeah, that's why. Okay, I'm just going to work on you, buddy. Actually, I'm not because you're about to be broken. So I'm going to throw that on you. And you, we're going to do this. And that will uh, put him into super weak mode. Oof. Go on, Marana. You get him. The problem is I don't want agony. We've been through this before. It happens every time. Okay. I mean, he's going to die anyway. I could just fall on. I just kill him. Increase my damage. Sure. Rana. Oh, what's this one do? does suggest I shouldn't bother. I'm going to old wound this guy, actually. And you are going to kill him with winter sleep and also slow the other guy. That makes more sense. I think. Not kill, because no one dies in this game. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, that was cool. And yet he's fine. <laughs> he's totally fine. Actually, this miss... I think Marana, I could just use her from the start, honestly. Once people are broken, she feels very strong. In the end, people in the harbour area, even those on the other bank, had a chance to witness an explosive show and actual fireworks. <laughs> okay. I need to see Rasputin. Rasputin! Let's go do that before we uh, do anything else, because obviously we're a little bit weaker at the moment. Uh, right, apparently I have to figure out where to go myself, which is very scary. Um, cemetery, right? I think. Rasputin, Rasputin, lover of the Russian queen, blah, 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 blah. blah. I don't know the song that well. I guess it wasn't obvious. It's there, yeah? I think so. This will be our... So, who are we missing? We're we missing one more. Oh, I think it's the Golem. I think it's the Golem. It looks Golem-y. But yeah, sorry about yesterday. Um, I will try to upload on Saturday this week, just so we get our five days a week. Um, I just hadn't slept at all. It was a disaster. I really need to see a doctor. <laughs> like, I didn't sleep. So, two nights ago, I slept... Three nights, three three hours, two hours, two three hours. I thought, okay, I'll sleep two three hours. You know, I stayed up to like eight a.m. I thought, right, I'll sleep two three hours, and then, you know, I haven't slept, so I will sleep well. Wait, why is all stuff here? And then I'll sleep really well tomorrow or tonight because I've only had like a little nap. I've only slept two hours in thirty hours or whatever it was, and then I stayed up to like ten a.m. again. <laughs> I napped for two hours, but then it got to last night, and I was I was. I was dead. I was dead by about half nine, so at least I slept for a good eight hours or something. Eight, nine hours. Sofa. Pillows scattered around the couch. A lot happened here. What is happening? Wait, what? She was laughing out loud, trying to stop him from saying bawdy words, but he didn't stop. Instead, only making her laugh more and more and more until the long-awaited satisfaction came. Rasputin, what have you been doing? Empty bottles of expensive liquors. One is liqueurs. One is put down, another is... Well, it could be a liquor. <laughs> another one is raised, another one down, another raised, until all were empty. By no means was that a sign that the party was over. What am I missing over here? Is that a suitcase? Looks cheap, whatever it holds, not worth much. Modest possessions have the glow of hope around them. Hope for change of fate that seems predetermined. He said he would take care of her. That she was important to him. All she gave him in return was her heart. Magdalena. So strange, so handsome. It's nice when people talk about me. It's all good, magic man. <laughs> medal, a SARS medal. I wonder what it's doing here instead of being proudly pinned to a uniform. 
Unpinned from a uniform in an act of pledging allegiance to Rasputin, the hand that did it trembled lasted only a fraction of a second. In the end, loyalty to Rasputin proved paramount. What is he doing? Is he starting like his own little revolution or something? What is going on here? Salt on the doorstep protection is evil, yeah. A hand trembling in fight, fright scattered salt in the hopes of warding off a devilish spirit. Salt was supposed to be good. It was supposed to chase away all evil even in this form. Only the devil could stink like that. But salt is good. It will do well against him too. And that's the maid. I think she thinks Rasputin's the devil, maybe. Give me more experience. That's crazy. A servant stained apron. She sincerely enjoyed the work. The Nadarinskis were good to her, but things couldn't continue like this. In the anger that permeates every fibre of her apron, one can sense an echo of longing for good, trouble-free times for the times when he wasn't here. Okay, it's definitely Rasputin. A wooden broom for everyday use. Each sweep of the broom brought words full of contempt to her lips. What kind of company is this? Mr. and Mrs. Nadarinsky. I've started associating with very strange people. To invite such guests is not proper. And this Shulsky fellow, such a decent name, and yet he's no better than the others. Excuse, excuse me. Everyone indi everything indicates that the Nadarinsky's beautiful maid couldn't stand the presence of Rasputin or the guests he brought under the once respected roof. So she left their employ. She saw him as the devil and looked for a way to ward off the evil spirit. It was unsuccessful. Can you say that? But isn't this the maid right here? Maybe it's not. Alright, what's this other thing? And the glass wine. Wine glass with lipstick on it. Strange desire lingered on the imprint of the woman's lips. Something new, as if born recently, unexpectedly. The heart freed itself from the fetters of mortality and brought previously unknown joy to the body. Rasputin caused this. Incredible. Ashtray full of cigarette butts. One after another after another, the ashtray reveals that the smoker seeks a moment of solace in the ritual cigarette. But the solace does not come, so another cigarette is lit. Maybe this healer will actually help her. Maybe he will fulfill his promises and her life will finally improve. Pipe. Wooden and looks like it gets a lot of use. Must belong to Lugan. Smoking the pipe was accompanied by a series of persist persistent thoughts centered around a dominant one. This is wrong. The immorality of the householder's behavior is unacceptable to the smoker. It shouldn't be like this. A colorful group of cultists. Rasputin has gathered a very colourful group of people around him. We don't seem to have much in common at first glance. They come from different, different social strata. Sorry, it's very early. <laughs> have different personalities, and yet, yet they share some kind of trust in Rasputin, or at least in his promises. Is this the beginning of a cult? Lukian seems to be the only one with a different opinion. Invitation to pray. Dear Countess, I trust I find you in good health. I wish to invite you to a unique prayer session that will be held at a humble apartment on... Povozhkovska Street. The session will be presided over by our guest, an exceptional person who, through prayer, is able to reach the very core of the human soul. Seeing as you are a particularly spiritual person, I expect you would like to attend and experience piety from this entirely new perspective. My kindest regards, Enelia Nodorinsky. Is there anything else? Make sure we've got everything before we talk to Raspi. Alright then, you. What have you been doing? Do you have a moment? For you, always. This place looked different. The Nadarinskis did too. Everything is happening according to their will and with their blessing. Hmm. Not all of them are as favorable to you as your hosts. The housekeeper quit. Well, Jesus had opponents too. Hmm. And look. How it worked out for him. You're aiming high. The highest. Anything else you want to share? All these people. You've gathered a colorful group. We all come from different environments. From different rungs on the ladder. And that's the most beautiful thing about this. What have you found out about them? Quite a lot, apparently. How did you manage to convince the Tsarist officer to come to you? He came of his own accord. Like all of you. Lazarev has great potential. He's exceptionally eager. He senses that his country is sick. And he'd like to solve the problem. Is there more you need to know? Cult leaders always say that people come of their own volition. But they're just people who are able to be manipulated, you know? I don't know. 
There was this. I saw this thing on Twitter. This woman posted. I can't remember what it was. She. She kind of had this whole spiel about how it's not just stupid people who get taken in by scams and that anyone could fall for it. And she wrote like an article about it for the New Yorker and all this kind of jazz. And it turns out what she did was hand over an envelope of like ten thousand dollars or more. I can't. It was a lot of money to somebody claiming to be in the FBI or so. I don't know. Whatever she fell for was the stupidest thing on the planet. It's just. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. But at the end of the day, it's people being taken advantage of, and it's not your fault if you're gullible. You know. I guess. Maria is calculated. She stays close because in you she sees a chance for a better life. And what's wrong with that? I respect that. I don't demand that you all gaze upon me like a sacred icon. But loyalty? There are all sorts of ways a person can win that for themselves. Anything else? Magdalena still hasn't rid herself of her youthful naivete. I think she's honestly fallen in love with you. Are you surprised she has? Many a love has had such a beginning. She's a good girl. Let's not hold that against her. Agnella is unknowable, and Lucian is unhappy about the changes taking place in her. Agnella has completely given up her lust for my sake. She'd rather just pray and pray. I respect that greatly. But I must share my time with others. Do you think that Lucian is jealous about the time his wife devotes to me? It's possible. Don't worry about it. Keep talking and asking. Enough about these people. I'm at your service, Victor. Ask for what you want. I need your help. Again. And I won't turn you down again. Do you see anything? Ow! <laughs> <laughs> the next trickster. Yes, this one is worse. <laughs> Don't worry. He thinks he's playing with us. It's just an illusion. <sighs> Come here. Enough joking around. Alexa, stop. It's my alarm, just in case. I've been awake for four hours, but it was just in case. I could have slept for like 14 hours for all I knew. I she probably could have had left it alone. Uh, right, we have Krampus. Annoyingly, the last one we're going to get is the one that I want the most, because it's the Bukovac one. Um, but here we go, we can now upgrade our focus thing to Torture. Okay. Well, I need to make sure I've always got two points. It's only because I'd like to start leveling these up, but um, I need to make sure I've got two ready for this one as well. So, yeah. I don't think we're going to unlock everything. Unless this game has loads of time left, <laughs> unexpectedly. I don't think we're unlocking everything. What do I want to put on torture? I don't have any three stars. I guess we're going to get these next, aren't we? Uh, no. 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 Sure. I mean, it's not really going to matter. We're not going to use these very often at all. Also got a new floor. We've got Demagogy. Lowers the enemy's focus twice as much if your health is no higher than 9. Oh, these are all health-based. So when I'm very low health, I'm very strong. We inflict double damage and do twice focus damage. And we also retain a health point instead of dying. Those are our three new things. Okay. Now, before we... 
do anything else. We're gonna go do this. I think this is the Coca-Cola one. So we're gonna go find about <laughs> never mind all the dramatic things happening. We have to go find out about Coca-Cola. And then we just find out how we're gonna get this final final salutor. I don't mind if we don't get all the floors, but I would mind if we didn't get all the salutors. That would make me sad. Especially when it's the one that I want the most. Because it's uh gonna upgrade agony to level three. Or deep wound to level three, whatever it's called. Suffering. The suffering ability to level three. Colonial store, warehouse number two, invitation. New merchandise from Brazil and holiday delicacies, vodkas, liqueurs, and cognacs. Rio, sugars, canned food, sardines, herrings. New products from Brazil, okay. Wait, did we did the did we do the Coca-Cola? We did the Coca-Cola one, didn't we already? So this is something else. I can't remember what this is, so. Well, you're a jet. You're a jet all the way. Okay, advertisement poster. I get it. It's fine. Oh, hello, hello, hello. Dear Lisa, thank you. I'm in good health. This is mainly due to the new treatment that you recommended to me. Did you know that this week the owner of the store will hold tastings of your favorite beverage every morning? <laughs> the aroma is indeed one of a kind and, most importantly, made my headaches less frequent. Come see me in the afternoon. I'll show you the new lace ordered from Paris. Am I a magician or what? A short message scribbled on stationery. It's still slightly smelling of bergamot. Uh, Marcelina mentions that every morning this week the store's owner is holding a tasting of Lisa's favorite beverage. Is it the Coca-Cola one? <laughs> oh, it's real coffee imported from Brazil. Beverage recommended especially for those hard mornings after a sleepless night. Well, I mean, you say you're not getting a headache anymore, but um, I feel like that's going to be short-lived. You know, if you're now building up a caffeine tolerance. Horana informants report. Alexander Kirchner, I've been told that he holds secret soirees and makes fun of the Tsar. I lost sight of him yesterday near Port Praga. I have to go back there today. I'd also like to take this opportunity to remind you about the promised reward, new leather shoes. And there's another quest. Aren't your legs getting sore? Stupid question. And yet you keep asking it. Let's wait. So, let's... Let's go get ourselves some coffee. Gotta follow all these little roots in case they're hiding something. Turmeric, cinnamon, ginger, oh, what an amazing aroma. Breathe in. Ah, to go back to the colorful streets of Bombay with the breathtaking variety of sari patterns. Breathe out. Here, it's just gray, nothing but shades of gray. Breathe in. I'll go back there before I die. There'll be beauty in my life again. I'd love to go to India. It's been on my list for a very long time. Bum, ba -dum, bum, ba -dum. Not so many places. Every morning in the Colonial Store in Warehouse Number 2, you can partake in a tasting of delicious Rio coffee imported from Brazil. Beverage recommended, especially for those hard mornings after a sleepless night. I wonder if this is... I mean, is coffee just not a thing? Is it? Is it? Are we, like, advertising... I know what I mean. <laughs> um... Is it because it's fancy Rio coffee, or is it the fact it's coffee at all? Because coffee is imported, so surely would not have been especially well-known at this point in time. Letter. Once the official performance is over, go to the back room. You'll find steps there leading to the host's apartment. At the door, give the password to hell with him. AK will give you a show like no other. Letter with confidential information folded several times to make it easy to hide. A place where you can see the comedian's unofficial performance. Just give the password at the entrance. To hell! Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Buy some exotic fruits. This place is cool. Tasting an orange that still smells of the sun in the fish stinking Port Praga is a truly grotesque appearance. Price list. Pot of potatoes. Six pounds, eight kopecks. One pound of apples, four kopecks. All right, how much is... So, apples are very expensive. Head of romaine lettuce, three kopecks. Okay, lettuce is much more expensive. Pound of carrots, five kopecks. Pot of beets, seven kopecks. Oh, hello, hello. Am I a magician or what? Oriental rug. You can't take your eyes off it. It looks very expensive. The delicate embroidery on the rug is interlaced with threats... 
of a great aggravation and anger. To tread on silk? That's an outrage! Who else will these slobs come up with to feed their bloated egos? Little big journeys. These days, you don't have to physically cross borders to cross them. The right outfit can take a modern man any place he wants. Turquoise will give any face a hint of travel nostalgia. Oriental embroidery and precious silks will accent your individualism. Gentlemen, we're here. That's gotta be for the thing, right? For the, um... See, this is the thing. At date, I, I come here in the morning and suddenly there's all this new stuff because all the, the shopkeeps and stuff are around. I think if you wanted to get everything in this game, you would have to go and thoroughly explore every area at every time of day in every act. And that just sounds like a nightmare to me. Poster. Guest performances by the audience's favourite comedian, Alexander Kirschner. The dive bar. Entry to the left of the barbers. Every day at 7pm. Well, well. Take a sold at the bar. Legal humour. Alexander Kirschner is a comedian who likes to make fun of the Tsar. His shows are held in the evenings at the bar The Dive. Once the official show is over, the comedian holds a secret performance. Just go to the back room and give the password to hell with him at the entrance. Well, what if he tries to get in and you weren't allowed? <sighs> if you didn't know the password and you got annoyed with the bouncer and you went to hell with him because you're annoyed with the bouncer, you get in. There's a f problem in the system. Right, I think this is just taking me to a, a bench, you know. <laughs> Where the hell am I going? I genuinely think this is all to take me to a bench. It just happens to have picked the furthest away bench that possibly was for some reason. So, gotta be night time, right? Yeah. And then we'll go talk to the tailor, seemingly. For, well, we have to find the document, but hopefully the last one. <laughs> I keep thinking we're there. And that I can't possibly find another one, but we, we stumble upon it in the end. Because I'm the tailor. This is why we click, folks. This is why we click. These people have been lying there for a long time. <laughs> That's a uh, gemiel, etc. etc. There's the barbers. So the bar is down here. Oh my god, I'm still tired. I'm getting back into bed after this. <laughs> I'll tell you that much. See, there's a bench right next to the... God damn it. Some people do grassroots work and others organize coups. Kirshner wields a different kind of weapon and one that's no less sharp. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, wrong button. Okay. It's a funny old game, this. I'm not sure how much I enjoy it, but it's interesting. And I'm invested. Oh, it's a, it's a weird one. The Gentleman Del July issue. In this issue, a number of British journalists survey the most popular motifs in fashion inspired by folk and oriental dress. The special supplement will be a treat for all of those who love the most precious of fabrics, silk. Oh. Apparently I need more. Oh no. Oh no. Because it would take me to the right direction, otherwise. Alright, let's go talk to Ariel Arofe. Alright, well, I guess we keep an eye out and hopefully stumble upon something else. Damn, I thought that was going to be it. I was excited. God, I'm tired. <sighs> <sighs> Apparently nine hours of sleep wasn't enough after the uh, lack I've had lately. That doesn't surprise me, really. Ugh, I just need to get it sorted. I just keep going through this. Why is there an estimation point over Pope Praga? That's very confusing. Oh, God. Yeah, it's going to be a low-key episode. <laughs> well, there's only ten minutes left. I don't know if it's been particularly low-key. I'm just a little... Thankfully, I'm like... Three weeks ahead on Dragon's Dogma, so <laughs> at least that one I don't have to worry too much about. My addiction is strong. I was fine for the first 45 minutes and I'm shattered. It just hit me like an absolute truck. Okay, here we go. You watch yourself, Professor. Quiet this time. 
Look around the dungeon in Provisla. This is the fighting ring, isn't it? Oh, we're about to get in a fight. There's three men. <laughs> Bored? Then go ask that uniform what he's doing here. Or tell him to skidoo. Hey, fancy pants. Fuck off. Hang on, hang on. You lost, officer? Hang on. It's the mama's boy of Shrudmishja. And the son of Shrudmishja. They dubbed me the son of Shrudmishja, if I remember correctly. Easy enough to check. If you see three guys, <laughs> you, you just know you're going to get into a fight. Lelic or Marana. Uh, Velas or Krampus. And then Bukovac. Okay, well, let's see what Krampus does. Very curious. Salutor, who can disable the en indicated enemy's traits. Okay, so Devil's Pact. Inflicts damage. Makes you lose focus instead of taking damage. With a 4 to 1 ratio. Okay, so that's... Yeah, that's interesting. Inflicts damage to equal to 5 times all enemies combined missing focus. That's insane, isn't it? Reduces focus, restores all your focus. Each point restored costs you 1 health. I don't really like any of these. <laughs> I'm not convinced by these. I don't. I don't. I don't think I want to use these. Honestly, I don't. I don't. I don't like any of these. I mean, that devil's punishment is insane. If you lowered everyone's focus. Well, fiendish prank seems alright. And plus, Krampus looks cool, which is very important. I'll throw one over you. <laughs> I do like that there's a little child there as well. It's a weird sentence, I know, but it is what it is. is this guy, yes, he's broken already. That's crazy. What does Krampus's thing do? Inflicts damage and converts all enemies missing focus into damage. So it hits them all for a little bit. I don't think that's the best one. I think putting that on. Suffering on everyone's better. Yeah, just don't kill him, thank you. Alright, no need. Okay, you on the left, you're going to tick down and die anyway, so let's focus on you on the right. And I think we're going to swap to my beloved. Ow. about to die. Look, it might seem that I like Marana just because she's hot, but <laughs> I promise that's not the only reason. I mean, she is, but that's not the only reason. You're very hot too, Bukovac. Don't you worry, buddy. He's going to stack this guy to hell. He's going to have seven stacks on him. I don't think I've ever had that many on an enemy before. No, he's gone for six. Would have done 24 damage. We only had 12 health. Hang on, ones. hang on. That's enough. You, you're the son of a beach of Shrutnesh. I'm looking for Ariel Rofer. All right, I don't know. Just tell him something. Take a look at Ruzhitsky Bazaar. He has got this sort of... Geschäft there. Thanks. Cheers, buddy. They're oh, right to call this place the dungeon. There's things. There's a th What's this thing? The morning courier. Classifiers to Victor Shulsky. I kindly request a meeting at the cafe near your home. I have a matter of great importance to discuss with you, sir. Well, TF. There we have it. 
Interesting. Unexpected. So look how thick this thing is. Uh, well, I remember. Uh, uh, uh. yeah, let me just double check this. Boo! That's <laughs> nah, gonna meet with Fagan. Who's Fagan? Is he the journalist? So why would he put it here? It seems like a terrible place to like guaranteed get in touch with me. And then we'll go back to Praga. And then we'll go to the uh, the bazaar. Plan established. Click, click, click. Don't know what I'm gonna play for this. I haven't really considered it. I might just record Dragon's Dogma. I've got I've got playthroughs I've recorded ages ago when I got really far ahead on Starfield. I ended up recording and I was uploading all those. I recorded Remnant 1 and Remnant 2 and Ori in the Will of the Wisps and Ori in the Blind Forest. So I've got four playthroughs. They're not long. They're all like 10 episodes long. But I recorded all of them. So why can I never do this? Where, where are all these possibly hiding? The ones I'm missing. I find that very confusing. Um... So they're kind of ancient at this point, so I'd kind of like to go back and get those sorted, I think. Wait, is this another... What's going on here? Leszit Manifesto. People of independent Poland. Enough humiliation, years of suffering under the iron boot of partitionist violence. The dawn of new world is coming, in which the power of our nation is once again awakening to life. Strengthened by the terror, it has survived, stronger than ever. The heart of each pole still pumps the blood of the ancient Lechite warriors. The tribe of braves... Lechite? Lechite? Maybe it's Polish? The tribe of brave Slavs who ruled these lands since time immemorial. Our freedom was snatched from us by deceit, so we will not shy away from any measure to regain it. Therefore, we postulate as a chosen group of representatives of the sacred Lechite nation blessed by God, we will fight for Poland's independence against a despicable invader with all the means at our disposal. We have tolerated a foreign race on our sacred lands for too long. Okay. A little iffier. Therefore, we will strive to cleanse the Republic from the swarm of Russians, Germans, Austrians, Jews, Tatars, Gypsies, and any other element that unlawfully uses our property. Definitely getting rougher. We want to demolish museums, libraries, and universities. We will fight moralism, feminism, and opportunism. We build culture anew. Enough of misrepresentation and history being written with the pen of vicious vipers. So help us, Lord God Almighty, and all the saints. I'm not so sure about this one. It started off okay, and then it really went off the rails. What's wrong with feminism? And foreign people. <laughs> Fagin? W.S. It's good that you're here. Did you get my message? That's why I'm here. Indeed. I need your help. What is it? Have you heard what happened at Vienna Station? No. There was an attack. Bloody and brazen. Several dead. All of them civilians, it seems. Oh. A new group of fanatics have taken credit for the assassination. They call themselves Lechites. The Russians have put Zukov himself on the case. I want to write about it. The truth. But I need help. I've never written an article. How can I help? I'll handle the writing. You focus on finding these Lechites. I want to eliminate the possibility of this being a Russian provocation. I'll interview them. What do you make of this? I wouldn't be so sure the census would allow you to print something like this. I don't write exclusively for state-run newspapers. Have you ever heard anything about Kimichits? I haven't. I only know the character from the book by Shinkiewicz. It's nothing special. This is my pseudonym for a certain underground publication. I'll admit that I am rather well known in patriotic circles as Kimichits. Congratulations. Keep asking. Who are those Lehites? Nobody knows. They've shown up in Warsaw only recently. This is the first attack they've taken credit for. That's why I want to reach out and talk to them. Anything else? I wonder if this is where Act... I've been thinking about where is Act 3 going to go, assuming Act 2 is going to finish off with the golem and stuff. I wonder if this is what Act 3 is going to be about. Zukov. Is he that famous investigator? They say he's amazing and very effective. If the Ruskies have got him on this case, it must be the top priority. Anything else? Is Fagan secretly cool? <laughs> Who died in this attack? That's what's suspicious. Nobody knows. 
The list of victims has been classified, but I know that they're most likely civilians, random people, Poles. The Lachites fancy themselves patriots, and look what we have here. That's enough for me to start with. So you agree? Yes. Maybe I'll reach out to Uncle. Good idea, because you need a pass to access the attack site. They won't just let anyone in. No offense. I'll take Do you him. ever see Vonda? Perhaps I should speak to her. Wonderful. Fine. And when you happen to stumble across a Lahite, don't forget to call me. It's a shrewd mischief number, 3490. I'm also leaving you their manifesto. I just want to talk to them and write an honest article about them, in Polish. Hmm. Okay. Lachites. Another organization fighting for Poland's independence. At least this is the platitude they seem to be wiping their mouths with while planting bombs in public places and murdering innocents, mostly Poles. They operate from the shadows and exist in what is basically a state of non-existence because no one knows anything about them except their name and the attacks they take credit for. Fools or provocateurs? Maybe they were planning something else. Perhaps the authorities want us all to think that patriots are insane and dangerous. It could be a psyop. Could be. Mm-hmm, there's a human down here somewhere. Fagan! Name is well- doesn't look anything like him. Name is well known to the readers of the Daily Courier, a witty pen, sharp tongue, and inquisitiveness worthy of a Juana agents. Fagan also works for the underground patriotic press. He wants me to find the group responsible for the railway station attack for him. He helps to interview the attackers. Alright, well this is a nice big chunky side quest. Save! God, it's half ten already. What happens in my day? I've been away for four and a half hours, for God's sake. Right, <laughs> we all end it there. I'm going to stretch. I don't know why I don't just wait until I say bye to stretch, but... It's kind of like you build habits. I realise that if I ever... Um, if I, I've got like a food delivery coming or something, I always need to nip to the bathroom, <laughs> weirdly enough, before the food delivery arrives. It's a very weird habit of bit learning. It's kind of the same with videos. When I start to say goodbye in the videos is when I need to stretch. It's just how it happens, you know? Anyways, anyways, thank you for joining me, and uh, see you later. <laughs> Cheers, what's up as always. Bye.